Good evening, member of Generation Y. I'm Josh Shipp, and this is Advice Show number 11, double one. Today's embarrassing childhood photo of splendor and glory and honor comes from Jamie. Check her out here. This is her embarrassing childhood photo. Nice tooth. I would like to see your photo in this photo frame. Yes. So please scan those and email them to me, josh at heyjosh.com. I will personally put your photo in there, and then you will sit over my right shoulder as the owl sits over my left. All right, hey Josh, after high school, my parents weren't very enthusiastic with me going to college. So two years later, here I am. Now they are pushing me to go, but I've told them that I want to write a book and be an artist, and they think it's a waste of time. It's what I really want to do, and my friends think that I should do it too. I'm afraid of going to college. I panic just thinking about it. What should I do, given what my parents want, or go my own way and risk disappointing them? From Jess. Jess, going to college is a lot like using gasoline, you see, to start a fire. You don't need it, but it sure does help to get the fire going. And it smells really bad. That's probably the worst analogy I've ever bestowed upon anyone. I hope you're not sitting there at your computer right now, weeping. My general advice to these sorts of questions are don't make decisions to make other people happy because you yourself will end up miserable. So that said, I'm sure your parents have some good advice, listen to it, consider it, but ultimately you need to make the decision for you because it's your life, not theirs. I'm sure they love you, I'm sure they care about you, but you're the one that's going to live your life for the next 80 years. See how I just predicted how long you were going to live? Yes, now you're really crying. Don't go to college just to avoid disappointing or upsetting your parents, right? But do think seriously about these goals that you have, some of them you mentioned in the email, about how you're going to accomplish those. Plan that out, think about that, think seriously about that. So you said to me that you want to be an artist and write. Awesome, that's great, I support that. But how are you going to get there? How are you going to get to that point, that thing that you want to do, right? Don't let fear stop you from doing something that may be good for you. I'm not saying that going to college is the right thing or the wrong thing for you. That's your decision, not mine. But don't ever let fear stop you from rocking out your vision for your future. Here's my ultimate question for you, and then you need to give yourself your own piece of advice. Think about where it is that you want to be in five years, in 10 years, in 15 years. What sort of things could you be doing today to get closer to that? What things could help you pursue those things? Hey Josh, me and my fiance just found out we are pregnant. I don't want my parents finding out or her grandparents finding out. What should we do from JD? Hi, Josh Ship here. Pregnant and don't want anybody to find out? Don't worry, there's an app for that. But wait, there's not. JD. I mean, you know what my advice is going to be, right? It's not going to be, oh, lie to your parents, or oh, pull the wool over your sweet, sweet grandmother's eyes, or something like that. No, here's the thing. Truth is always the best decision. I didn't say it was the easiest, did I? I did not. Truth is always the best decision. Not the easiest, often the hardest, but it, it is always, 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 always. I said always three times. It is always the best. And here's the thing. I know, even as I say that to you, you're, you're thinking, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to tell them. You can't tell them. Dude, really? They're going to find out eventually, especially if you have some math majors in the family. You need to tell them now, because otherwise, this is going to cause this big family drama and the stir up, and grandma might shoot you. I don't know. She could pack heat. I don't know the grandma. But seriously, people are like, oh, why didn't you tell us? Why didn't you tell us? And then you have to explain that you were a sissy. He didn't want to be honest. Don't be a sissy. Just tell him. Here's the thing, man. Let us recap. The truth in any situation is always the best. Like I said, not the easiest, but always the best. The truth will set you free? Yes. But first, you must unleash the truth. My advice? Go tell them. I'm sorry, I didn't hear me. My advice? Go tell them. <clears throat> Need to speak up? My advice? Go tell them. Go tell them, dude. You'll feel better. I would like to thank you for watching. If you'd like my advice, or if you have any idea what the deal is with this record, this I just found this randomly. 
it's called the singing double, but there's it's one dude's name, and it, it's like the same. It confuses me. I thank you for watching. If you'd like my advice, go to heyjosh.com or call 877-HEY-JOSH. Until then, I am Josh Ship in your face, but on your side.